Um, I've been gone for two weeks. And yeah, today is uh, the third video of the Drizzle setup series. And yeah, first of all, I am Neville, you can call me Neff. Today we will take a look at relations and how to use them and how to query them uh, very conveniently with Drizzle. So yeah, let's just quickly showcase what a relation is. Yeah, here we are. So let's just say we got some tables. Let's do an e-commerce store. We got products, we got users, and we got a cart, and we have um, a collection. So we got these uh, four tables. There is essentially a few types of relations. There is one to one relation. There is a one to many or many to one. It's like basically the same. And we have a uh, many to many. So we got these uh, few relations. And what we can do now is sort out what these relations are. So collection, this is basically you no know, one to many. Um, a product can be in one collection, but a collection can have many products. So this is a one to many collection uh, relation. We got products. Um, they can be in many cards, and many cards can have the same product. So in this case, this is a many to many relation. Let's move that a bit. Um, user and collection, they don't have any relation at all, but cards do. And in this case, so here we got a one to one, because a card can only have one user, and the user can only have one card. Um, so yeah, that is basically that. In our case, we want to do, uh, we want to resume on what we built right here, our little application right here, which <laughs> does not have a name. Let's go ahead and run npm run studio so we can know what is going on in the background. Let's uh, zoom in a bit so that you can see better also here. So yeah, we got um, all this stuff right here. And first change I want to do is make a little change to my schema. So in here we got export const and then we have posts table. And this is going to be a SQLite table as always. Um, posts and the columns would be ID, would be an integer of uh, ID dot, oops, dot primary key, which will make it auto increment. Then the author, uh, this reference, is, uh, the author is a text. Um, or no, let's do author ID. Um, with text, mm, no, with int ID, uh, not null, dot references users table dot ID. And let's just also do body int um, body um, author id and yeah that is basically it we now need to do we need to import relations from drizzle orm no not that one the little one and we're gonna do export const users relation so we need relations and the table is because we are here in users relation let me actually move that up here um we're in users table and we want a many relation because users have one too many relation with posts and to declare that we can do posts and then many and then posts table and wrap this again in parentheses. Why is that one right here? Oh yeah, because of that one. Nice. Uh, so we got our post relation kind of set up and I, I'm not sure if we go here and no, we actually need to create a um, the post relation and we're going to do that with posts relation as equals to relations and posts table and uh, one because a post can only have one author and so we got 
author is one um, users table. Oh yeah, I actually forgot to um, in here in our uh, users table we need to also specify like the field. So the fields will be post table dot author ID and then references users table dot ID. And now if you run npm run generate and if we now run npm run generate and then npm run migrate oops migrate and npm run studio so we then got posts right here and in posts we should have author perfect so let's just delete some user right here so that we only got two kind of users and yeah so let's create some posts right here um the id will be one the author id will be one two because it's me and the author will be automatically set to me let's add another record which would be from the id2 and that will be one two second admin post bam author again it's me Mario. and then we have i am not an admin and if we change now oops and if we change now we got that perfect so the cool thing is now that we got our schema uh, we can actually already go to our load function right here. That is our load function that we created in our last video. And what we can do is with and then posts is true. Let's just do an unordered list. And in here we go each user dot posts as post. I hope they use a reference. Yeah. And in here we can do post dot post.author ID. Okay. Um, in here, let's go ahead and create an H1. And in this H1, we're going to do post.body. Uh, let's do an H3. And do a little H2 right here. Post. Again, this, this, this is not at all to be like um, pretty or something like that. It's just a little um showcase post can we do index let's do plus one to make it a bit more pretty post one let's just go ahead and do with the id of and then post.id actually we also can just do post.id right here that is pretty much how it works so yeah you first of all uh, create this author ID thing right here with the reference and then you go ahead and create the relations with many you only need to specify that thing right here which we also can see in our Drizzle studio uh, with users we got two posts and in here we got one post in here you need in a in a one to one relationship because it is more specific than the many to many uh, one to many um you need to go ahead and specify which field of the table uh, references which target field it should represent. I hope I could give you some insight into Drizzle relationships. Next video will be on Wednesday. Till then, have a great one.